Okay, so today I'm going to be removing the gearbox off my Divi Vans engine. So I've already taken, I think, all the bolts out. These are the bolts. And practically the big ones, are, I think, were 19 mil, and the small ones were 10. And there's a starter motor. So you practically got yeah, all your surrounding bolts around here. Sorry if I go a little bit too fast. Most of the time I try to keep the camera focusing for a little bit longer than most people. Or maybe not. <laughs> anyway. So these are the bolts. There's the starter motor. And uh, I'm going to try and pry her open. Exciting part of uh, cosmetic work. All right, so okay, so that came off reasonably easy. Here's the old gearbox. I don't think she's ever been off the car before. Um, I think that's the main seal in there. Don't know if it's leaking, but I'll probably replace it while it's out anyway. Bit of housing. Now I've got to try and get that off the flywheel um, and then I'm going to be putting it on an engine stand so I can spin it around where I want to. Alright, back soon. Okay, remove the bow housing. That took a 17, 17 mil socket. Um, there she is. And it's the bolts, there's only four, they're on the other side of that. So when you've got the ring gear and the bolts come in from there so you gotta you gotta turn the bell housing until you get like to a gap here and then put your your socket through there and yeah obviously crack it and get it off so next will be the ring gear they've got um looks like six bolts to get off so to put on um the engine on a rotisserie more or less the engine stand that's for that um you have to have your ring gear off and as far as I know, you've got to mark it, so I'm going to probably text the market where it comes off some, somewhere there. I'll do something on the next video and show you where my markings... I don't know if they have to be exactly like where they were, but I'm going to put it there. I've seen other videos where they mark something, so anyway, back soon. Okay, so just a quick update. Um, because this flywheel moves, you have to lock it down with a screwdriver. So what I've done is through this hole I put it to something solid on the motor so when I try to crack the nuts it don't move so we'll go from that